And we do our best to tell the truth and do the right thing, but sometimes we just don't know what to do. And before this comes out, we just wanted to be the first to let you guys know because obviously we're like really disappointed in ourselves and we should have known better and we'll do our best to make sure this doesn't happen again. So yeah, we figured we might as well come out and say it uh, and let you guys know and tell the truth because we really did make a huge mistake and um, we're going to do our best to make sure that we don't do this again. So What's going on guys? How are we doing? Are we feeling friends? good? How are we doing? We loving life? Is everything great? Welcome back to the channel guys. We are on the road to 100 vlogs and this is episode 7. I don't know why JC's laughing so much. I don't know well, what her deal is. maybe pan the camera down and show them what we got going on. <laughs> I dress like this on a regular basis. I don't know why Drake- For those of you confused, he's wearing one of my dresses. I feel like- No I'm not. <laughs> you should have clarified that. No, I'm not. There's no need for clarification, ladies and gentlemen. This is just my- Well, shoot! Spin slap and tickle, ladies and gentlemen. Someone come touch me. That's just overpowered, it babe. It sucks having a boyfriend that has a bigger butt than you do. I bet. Alright, guys. Hopefully you never have to see an angle like that of me ever again until the OnlyFans launches. But here we are, guys. I feel like I'm the real deal. I really do. Jack has broken my dress. I feel the like if I went out in public, no one would know what to do with me. What do we do about it? It's like, ooh, it's a man dressed like a woman <laughs> in Missouri. That's not right. But I kind of like it. <laughs> Ooh! Telling you guys right now, overpowered. What do you guys think? Should we go to JC's parents and see what her dad thinks? <laughs> Comment down below if you think that's a video that we should do because I would absolutely be willing to put on a dress again. Perhaps a red dress or even a pink dress. Ooh. And go visit her father and then be disowned, beaten, and burned alive. Speaking of my parents, I felt like I needed to acknowledge this. Can we talk <laughs> about I know exactly what you're gonna talk about because we talked about it this morning. And I have oh a problem God. with this. This was a big deal to me, and it actually cut me to my core. I, I managed to hide it on camera, but it actually like kind of gave me the ick and pissed me off. It did not give you the ick. Okay, so it gave in, me our, the ick. in our last video, if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. We did a Q and A with my mom, or I guess she did a Q and A with me, and we I asked her, you, uh, "Would you let me marry Jack?" And she made yeah, it exactly. so. She made weird. it like. <laughs> She just did just say yes. Like, I was just looking for an easy yes, move on, next question. Yeah, she was like, I mean, sure, honey, if it, if it makes you happy. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was like, should we go, like, I couldn't, I don't even know what you'd compare it okay, to. Okay, here's the thing. With my mother, she's very, um, blunt. Like, she doesn't sugarcoat. Too blunt. She doesn't sugarcoat things or, like, say things that she's like, oh, that might hurt their feelings. Like, she just says things. So I wouldn't take a personal jack. Yeah, you know what she needed to say? <laughs> All she needed to do was say yes. She needed to be more blunt there than ever, and she wasn't. Instead, she made it seem like she doesn't want me to ask to marry you. Yeah, but you love my mom anyways. I do. <laughs> but I think I'm going to have to give a bad Yelp review. I also realized recently, this has nothing to do with JC's mother, so I don't want anyone freaking out on me. Absolutely nothing to do with at all. But I did realize I want to stop cussing so much in videos. I feel like my cussing doesn't actually add anything. <laughs> all I'm saying is, I'm gonna try to cut back. And that, that's my statement. I think we should make up our own cuss words. So instead of saying the F word, we fickle should say, fart. Yeah, we should say fickle fart or furker. Pumpkin puss. Yeah. What's another one? Sneaky shrimp. Shrimp. Slooper slapper fooper blah blah. Oh. <laughs> no, not that one. You didn't like that one. Uh, that one. No. How about? How do you spell that? Slooper slapper slap slap slap. No, no. <laughs> that just it. sounds like I'm spitting. No. What the hell just happened? That's JC's <laughs> sense of humor right there in a nutshell. This weather, let's talk about it. Absolutely fabulous. Boys and girls, every year, we're from Missouri, so the weather is quite turbulent, quite volatile, so very rarely do we ever have an opportunity, particularly during wintertime, to just bask in the sun. But today is one of those days where it is 66 degrees. 66 plus 3 equals... 69. You made it weird. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I just have my uh, my wiener dog purse right here. Ah, yes, of course. No <laughs> doubt there's a Glock in it. No, there, it literally holds nothing. Like, it's an inch deep and it has a lip gloss and a hair tie. The bee's knees. Wow. This store has JC's aesthetic 
all over it. Oh, they knew I was coming. These are really cool. JC, if you were to choose any roller skate in here, which would it be? The green one. I kind of figured you'd say that. What do you guys think? This or the dress I had on earlier? The fact that I can even say that is partly a problem. What do you think, babe? I think you'd look good in this. I actually want to see you wear this. No, I'm not doing that again. 11 mission. Oh, thank goodness. I was getting worried we'd never find one. Would you rather have this or a Stanley Cup? I don't really know what- I've heard of a Stanley Cup, I don't know what that is. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, thrift shopping is one of my favorite things ever of all time to do. And Jack found- I absolutely paintings. hate it. I do not like thrift shopping. I I'm not afraid it. to say that in a thrift shopping store, but look what I'm getting. I actually found something that I like. <laughs> Check it out. That's from Isn't the movie cool? Atlantis, and what's that from? Babe, this is an iPad. Stop. This You're is from so Emperor's New Groove. Anyways, what I was trying to say is here in Springfield, Missouri, there aren't a lot of thrift shops, and I just stumbled across probably my new favorite one. <laughs> say hello to the vlog. We met a supporter. <laughs> Guys, it's so hard being kick-ass. I mean, it's like every, every which way we turn, the paparazzi are getting us. It's hard these days, man. Keep a low profile. <laughs> You know. <laughs> I'm rolling my eyes. Everyone raise your hand if you just rolled your eyes. We're gonna go in this flea market. Ah, uh, yes, of course. It's It's called Flea MJ Mart. <laughs> Indeed. Gonna, what are you doing? I'm gonna break something. Yeah, I get that sense too. What what on earth is that? Babe, that thing is that thing will summon a demon when we're asleep. Is it a whiskey decanter? I think it is a. Uh, Shut up. <gasps> we should get it. Oh my gosh! No windows. Perfect. Let's make sweet love. <laughs> quick, quick, babe. Bend over. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm that was so my sternum. Sorry. Fun fact: This is where we vlogged our first ever vlog together. That was three and a half years ago. Wow. Time flies when you're in love. That's true. <laughs> Isn't that true, guys? I mean, hot diggity dog. Here's smuggles and wiener wiener cups. I got half that on video. Wiener snuggles and wiener wiener cuddles. Wiener Come here, bear. Cuddles. Come here, oh little God. stinker bear. Are you gonna be able to pick her up? Yeah. She's a heavy girl. Yeah, guys, we accidentally, it seems like when you feed her four times a day instead of twice a day, complications start to arise. We just plop her right here. How does that look? Hi, baby girl. Is that good, baby bear? Hi. You're so smelly and stinky. You're so cute. I give you kisses. How many kisses? Mm. Guys. I give you so many kisses all the time. Mm. This is what I hear <laughs> regularly on a daily basis for hours on end. It's just. And, and honestly, while the hey, camera's not hey, rolling, hey, hey. I talk like I this. I was too. about to say, don't act like you don't do that. No, too. I don't. I, I'm definitely. I, he I definitely, definitely goes, do that. Snuggle, In fact. Snuggle, 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 snuggle. Snuggle. No, I don't. If you guys could see the side of Jack, I would see, or I see. With our dogs. With our dogs. Or with me too. With you and the dogs, I am kind of fruity. <laughs> I don't feel, I don't, do we need, does no, Leia need Leia to be right here? No, doesn't need to be in here. Okay. Oh, big and heavy and piggy. We're here to finally tell the truth. We made a mistake. We made a big mistake. A few videos <laughs> back, and we actually lied, and we had the intention the intentions to clarify and make it all a joke, but we literally just forgot. We forgot. <laughs> and I didn't even remember until someone DM'd me yeah. and was asking about it, and I figured we should definitely make a video, because one, this is beautiful clickbait. I mean, this is just hot and horny, and we mm -hmm. need to make a good video out of this, so that was good. But in a previous video, we said that we'd gotten a third dog, and it was the... It was the corgi named Louie. Um, that is in fact not our dog. Not we our were dog. dog sitting for the weekend. Yeah. That is our friend's dog. So yes. we were like, oh, we'll just get them hooked at the beginning of the video and say that it's our dog. And then disappoint we forgot, everybody. We forgot to clarify that it wasn't our dog and say, just kidding guys. And so for those of you who for the last three or so weeks have not been able to eat sleep uh, because of this information, I apologize, but we are here to clear it up. We, in fact, only have two dogs. Mm -hmm. A lot of other people also didn't know that Ivy got hit by a car and died. Oh, yes. We used to have another dog who looked like a mini version of Leia, and she passed away. So yeah. we only have two dogs at the moment. Which is, that's ideal. We, we are constantly questioning whether or not we should get a third dog, and 
we always have to fight it because the, the difference between one and two dogs is not that big because they just end up playing with each other. It actually makes it, it's easier to have two dogs than mm -hmm. it is one, but having three dogs sucks. It's a lot. It's so, I don't like it at it's all. It's so overwhelming, but I don't know. Maybe we should get another wiener dog. Or a golden retriever. What did I just say? Or, what was I just talking about? I don't know. We saw, oh my gosh, we saw a red wiener dog on Puppy When we build our house, when we build our house and we have our land and we have our field and our pond and our alfalfa, everything, we will get two dogs because we're going to want something to protect our little dogs from coyotes. But until then, that's not happening. Anyways, <laughs> that was the video. I we think this was a fun, should, interesting yeah, video. Yeah, I thought we should clarify that because I have gotten so many comments and DMs that are like, Oh my gosh, where's Louie? Where's your other dog? Yeah. No. This was vlog seven, and so we need three more, and then we'll be in double-digit territory, ladies and gentlemen. You, you thought it would never happen, but it's happening. Dog on the counter. Dog on the counter. Show them our bamboo. Show them our bamboo. So, funny story. Mother, if you're watching What's this, I'm going so sorry. On? I'm so sorry, Mother. We were going to give this to you for Christmas, but Jack... I accidentally forgot it, and Jack's like, we should just keep it. And then we did, and I let everything die. No, no one cared. I'm so sorry. No one gave a single f Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>